Hi, I'm Vivian Guzman. Guess what? I recently lost 20 pounds in 50 days with this Sprint Set for Life energizing weight loss system. The founder and visionary of Sprint Set is a world renowned holistic chiropractic doctor. Yep, he's been written up by Forbes, and chances are you've seen him on ABC, CBS, Fox, or NBC. He's also the number one best selling author of A Gladiator's Guide to Corporate Health and Wealth. I'm excited to make Dr. Raja Sahuri's mom's Israeli dish kuza, aka zucchini, stuffed with rice and beef, and together we'll go above and beyond wellness and sprint set. Welcome to Dishin' It. I'm Vivian Guzman. Life hasn't always been easy. I have felt alone, displaced, like an outsider. The world needs a place of belonging, which is why I created Dishin. Cheers. Cheers! On Dishin It, I cook foods from around the world. My guests share their stories, and we inspire the world. The reason I save marriages past, present, and future is because I want it to be the, that lovely, cute, eight-year-old couple that you see still holding hands is the norm. Welcome, 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 welcome to Dishin' It. Hi, Dr. Raja Zahuri, and welcome to Dishin' It. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> so great to see you. How are you? Doing incredible, thank you for asking. I want to know what it is. What is it that we're making today? Ooh, we are making one of my mom's traditional Middle Eastern dishes right out of Israel. And it is called Gusa. And uh, it is incredible. I mean, for me, it'd be something I'd be coming home from school uh, and I'd, be, I'd, I'd walk into the home and I'd be smelling it cooking along with, you know, some stuffed grape leaves as well, because that's how she did it, right? A lot of work, a lot of energy. So Kuza is a traditional meal that's Arabic, Lebanese, you're Israeli. So what are the differences? So there is just a straight vegetarian way. Uh, and then there is a way that you can do it with, with meat. What we're going to do today is we're going to do it with meat today. Is that okay with you? I'm a meat eater. So baby, bring it. Mm. So number one, let's make sure that the meat is a really good quality meat. So I use grass fed, uh, grass fed, grass finished meat. So I really, really love that high quality. Okay. Yep. I'm with you. I, I, I got my grass fed beef. I, I, I gotcha. I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have the beef. So how, how do I season it? You are going to use about a teaspoon of salt. Okay. You're going to use, uh, somewhere about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of pepper. You are going to use a, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, a quarter teaspoon of allspice, and an eighth of nutmeg. So salt and black pepper, but after that, it's just three ingredients. Turmeric, nutmeg, and uh, allspice. Allspice doesn't mean it's every spice. It's its own peppercorn allspice looking thing. That's right. Okay. Um, now, um, you also want to have your... Wait, wait, wait. So what happens now with the meat? I just cook the meat in a pan, right? Yeah, hey, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna mix it up first, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna, you're gonna put it into the pan. So I'm gonna put it in there, and then, then I'm gonna add um, rice, right? Because it's beef and rice. For every pound of meat, what you want to do is you want to have four, uh, four tablespoons of rice. Okay. Now I know Vivian. I know Vivian. She probably did six to eight. Tablespoons. <laughs> what do you think? You can see my rice? Okay, take a looky. Take a looky, looky. There you go. You know it. It's like a cup of rice, actually. <laughs> and the reason that we don't uh, cook the rice is because it will expand when it's actually cooking. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix the rice 
with the uncooked rice with the cooked meat. By the way, let me show you the cooked meat. You are doing fabulous. <laughs> you are doing incredible. We're ready to stuff, right? Yep. Here's the zucchini, right? Um, and, you know, see how they are? You can use an apple core, right? I am prepared in arms. Yeah, 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 I got yeah. you, mister. All right. And then what happens is you, you just put it right here and then you just start to core, okay? How do you take it? You haven't taken it out yet. Mm. Mm. I haven't mm. taken it out. I haven't taken it I out. I haven't yet. figured it out. All I know is it's still there. For me, as you see. What, you got was, it out? How did you I get it able, out? I was able to get it out, okay? So, <laughs> there's a way to do it. <laughs> look at you, like, ha ha, ha ha, like you got it. I'm getting it, okay, look, ta-da. So you're gonna wanna stuff it three quarters of the way. And then what you do is you take a tip of, because you get one of the zucchinis and you, you slice them up, you cut them up. I stuff the it back with the whole piece so it stays in and when it cooks, the flavor is just incredible. What about using tomatoes? You could. Nobody said that you could not do that. I want to use a tomato. There are different ways to do it. Okay. We're just right now, I'm demonstrating one way, you're demonstrating a second and it's all good. Just have fun with the food. <laughs> now, something that I do as well, when I when, when I have a dish that, that has meat, that has fat, right, in it, is that I like to do, it's D3 with K2. And most people lack it. And people like myself who are darker in skin tone, right, it's, it's harder for me to absorb vitamin D. Vitamin D3 is great as far as support for your immune system. We know it's great for uh, bone support and bone health. We also know it's really great for smooth muscle. It's great for digestion. It's, it's really great for your skin. It's great for the brain power. It's, it's incredible. What I like to do is I like to use the sprint set vitamin D3 with K2. And I like to take five drops. Now what happens? We have the, the, I have all of my beautiful zucchinis with tomatoes. I have them very colorful. Well, you gotta put them into a pot. Some people um, like to do it with a, a chicken broth or a bone broth, okay? Um, so what are you gonna use today? I'm gonna use chicken stock. All right, so she's using chicken stock, okay? If you're gonna use uh, tomato paste, again, you could use this, the tomato paste to your liking. Some people like it thicker, so they'll use like two cans. Some people don't want it as thick, so they use one, right? Some people have a sensitivity to tomato paste, so they don't use it at all. And now we're gonna put all of these beautifully stuffed zucchinis in a pot with chicken stock and tomato paste. And I used a whole quart and a whole cat, a pot, you know, a whole jar that was glass jar of tomato paste and everything's organic, which is preferred. And then after that, you're gonna put a, you're gonna put a plate on top. Plate on top. You're gonna put a plate on top and then you're gonna cover it with the lid on top of that. And then you are going to cook it. It's been 30 minutes and uh, we're gonna check to see what's going on. Yes, how about we plate it? So I just plated, and look what I have. Yes, I do. Oh. I have some grape leaves as well. And then there's yogurt right in the middle because you want to use the yogurt as a dipping sauce. So are you ready to see mine? Yes. Oh, boom! Boom! Yes! Because I'm getting all your goods, baby, today. There you go. <laughs> Woo. This is so refreshing. This is so flavorful. Wow. It mm -hmm. is. I say you and I go sit down so that we could talk about what got you into Sprint Set 
from the beginning. I'm so happy that you were able to come here and talk to me today. And I love you so much. And the reason why I wanted to cover you on Dishing It is because not only did I lose 20 pounds, but I wasn't healthy and you helped me become healthy. And to me, my health is everything. So I wanna go back to you and your health and how it all began as a journey for you. So I was uh, 20 years old and uh, I was at a moment in my life where I was deciding what I wanted to do. And I decided that I wanted to become a medical doctor. What happens is one day me and my friends, we get out on our motorcycles and we start riding our bikes down major highway, motorcycles. And as we start riding down the, the highway, my friends get past me right at the end and then fear off the exit and I miss it. So I pull over onto the shoulder of the road. So I pull onto the shoulder of the road, I'm sitting there and um, I look over to my right and I see my friend Mike walking towards me. And as Mike is walking towards me, I see his arms go like this into the sky. And then his face changes into fright and then whack, I get hit from behind from a car that missed his exit and then came onto the shoulder of the road and hit me. And I went flying off my motorcycle I hit the pavement and my helmet came off and I split my head wide open right here. I split my knee wide open. I tore a triangular fibrocartilage in my wrist. I herniated six discs in my spine, bulge three. I had a lot of disc issues going on. How long were you in the hospital? How long were you injured? Your injuries had you bedridden? I, I was weeks in the hospital. I was uh, in agony for over a year. Uh, then they put me on antidepressants and just within a short amount of time, I became suicidal and it, I went to a very dark place really quickly, really quickly. By the grace of God, I was led to a corrective based chiropractor who showed me that I'm not going to push darkness by adding more darkness. We got to remove what we call these subluxations that are choking off the expression of life that's running from your brain down your spinal cord, to all your vital organs and all your muscles of your being. And I said, with a skeptical mind, okay, might as well give this a shot. And within three months of being under his care, I had my first glimpse of hope. So you have now an accident at 20. You met this chiropractic doctor that changed your perception about the profession that you were going to go into. You were going to become a doctor, but you decided to become a doctor in holistic wellness and became a chiropractic doctor instead. And then from there, I guess, you know, what's interesting, I suppose for me, when I think of a chiropractor, right, and I'm just thinking about myself, I only think of going to a chiropractor when something hurts in my body. How, how do you know that a problem that you have, you're gonna go to a chiropractor for? Like, what should one look out for before one goes to a chiropractor? It's never about a symptom. Let me make that very clear. What's going on on the inside, you're not even aware of. So what we need to know is that your body is gonna run better with less stress on it than with more. And what will cause challenges for you will be anything that's physical stress, right? Like a trauma, macro or micro trauma. Like looking at your cell phone. Many people look what? They look down as you're doing that what are you doing to your spine you're moving it in the opposite direction so you well, have a natural curve in your neck it's an arc speaking like of like which the last thing that i expected to do was when i went to your office to get adjusted in my back was for you to conduct advanced testing discover things in the back and also share with me a bunch of diagnostic stuff like i was obese and how obesity also leads to alzheimer's which for me was like hello wake up call what do I need to do? And I was happy that I met you. So to me, I find I find that maybe what you do is very unique. Maybe not every chiropractor does what you do. Well, we definitely do advanced testing, right? So we're running computerized tests to see exactly how the nerves are actually sending signals throughout your autonomic nervous system, uh, seeing how well it's, it's, it's functioning. And then what else are we doing? We're running x-rays. We'll measure your body mass index. We'll measure your body fat. We'll measure your water percentage. We'll measure your visceral fat. We'll take a look at your, um, oxidative stress. We've seen over 300,000 patient visits walk through our center at Above and Beyond Holistic Wellness Center combined with Squinset. 
energizing weight loss system. I had I had um, a gentleman come through the come through the doors who has been to doctor after doctor, wheelchair, uh, it couldn't get him out of it, and he's been coming to us seven weeks now. The guy's up and walking. Or you have children who have some challenges like allergies or asthma, or ADD, ADHD, or even things like autism, and we're seeing them speak again. One of the things that I that I heard you give examples about is how people turn to you when all else has failed. In your book, The Gladiator's Guide to Corporate Health and Wealth, like what was the inspiration behind this book for you? I was at a Tony Robbins event, and it was called Business Mastery. When I was at that event, Tony Robbins called on me, and he said, uh, "Dr. Roger, he said, look, you are you're doing some big things, right? You help so many people. You've taken care of stars. What's the next thing that you're gonna do? Like, how are you gonna play bigger? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I am gonna write a book, and it's gonna be about corporate wellness, and it's gonna be." It's going to be an avenue for me to get into corporations and start making a bigger impact with inside of the organizations. And the way that I'm going to do that is when I write the book, it is essentially going to be a credibility piece, a business card, so to say, to get in along with, you know, I've been featured on many different um, media stations, uh, not to gloat so much, but, you know, just many of them, you know, and written up in Forbes magazine as well. And I said, okay, so let me use all of the branding, you know, around Dr. Roger's success and, and influence status on giving support to people when it comes to health, along with having this book, which ended up becoming an international bestseller in four countries. The way that I came up with Gladiator is I was in Fort Lauderdale at a hotel and I was sitting and I woke up in the middle of the night like this. And the word that came to me was Gladiator. And the reason you saw me do this is because I pictured a sword right here. And it was a gladiator. Everybody has a battle that lives where? Right here. Right here. And when we look at ourselves in the mirror, what is it that we say to ourselves? So the first person that you have to love is who? Is you. Because love doesn't come from outside in. It comes from within you. So it's about teaching people how to love themselves first. That's what brought me to you. I have had traditionally a leaky gut. I don't know if I could say that thanks to Sprint Set, maybe I learned more about combinations of foods and also uh, maybe not overloading my system with, because I used to eat every kind of vegetable in one plate and I think maybe the body's overwhelmed as to what to digest. I am at a place where I finally sleep better and I, I, that's huge for me. I've always had like insomnia. To go through this in just 50 days, to see myself sleeping better, to see my periods not being painful as they used to be and debilitating, to uh, not having as much brain I fog. It. I love it, that's, that's music to my ears. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's life-changing what you've yeah, done. You have such a you beautiful know? husband. I wanted to mention, you, you're, you're so blessed as is he. Uh, Vivian, you two are just beautiful people. And, and you know, look, you're doing this it right now. You don't have to do this. You do this because you want to make a bigger impact, yes? I do dish in it because I want to celebrate all the remarkable humans like you that give hope to someone outside viewing it. People who take a chance in the pursuit of their dreams, who celebrate love, diversity, and inclusion like you do. You fit my show like it's nobody's business. I do this because I wish I had been celebrated when I was a kid, but in a way, I'm glad I wasn't because I guess I wouldn't feel such a desperate need to share your story and everyone else who has been auditioning it. And nobody needs to be alone. They could watch this and they could have a blueprint. They could have like a little arrow that says, let's go see Dr. Raja Sahori. I know he can help. And that is why I do audition it. You're a beautiful soul. I'm grateful, beyond grateful, grateful, grateful to, uh, to have you as a as a friend and please give your husband a big hug and squeeze uh, from me and my family. Thank you so much for being on Dish and it. I love you, Dr. Rogers. So worry. Thank you, baby. I love you too. It's been an honor. God bless you all.